100.9. Creek Real Music, Real Radio, Creekside Morning, Sony Doolin, Charles Davis. That is uh, Clay Parker and Jody James, Katie's Blues. Okay. It's Monday. It is. It's around 8.30-ish. Yeah. Which means that it is time yeah. for uh, Alex Von Coidle. From Alex Von Coidle, The Voice. From Alex Von Coidle, The Voice. Voice. From Alex Von Coidle, The Voice. 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 Alex Von Coidle. My fighter. Does it make you feel awkward, Caleb, that he has his own intro? Yeah, I was actually kind of waiting for mine to come in here. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Do you have one, Caleb? Because we could just throw it in there too. Because we didn't do that one. Alex makes his He did that himself. He got an old killer cam uh, thing. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> funny. What happens? Caleb Cameron's here this morning as well. We'll talk to him in just a bit. But first, Alex, how are you, sir? I'm good. I, I really appreciate you uh, not doing the same awkward introduction you did last week. Yeah. Um, well, there was. Well, Which one was that one? <laughs> you don't want to bring it back up. We've already had a lot of awkward conversations on the radio today, yeah, Alex, have. so let's not. Uh, good morning, Alex. How are you, sir? <laughs> good. How are you? All right. So I have a big question. Saturday night's game. Um, it was a great game. Yeah. <laughs> Final score, 4-3. Mm-hmm. Didn't go the way we wanted. Yeah. Explain, because a lot of fans, myself included, thought that there was a goal, but the referee signaled, was it a washout? Is that the correct term? Yes. Look at, Look at you. So job, using Jonah. terms Me. correctly. Proud of you. Mm, thank you. I had to Google that. <laughs> uh, that is a true story. Googled it yesterday. But you did it, though. Um, so explain to me what happened with that goal. Because yeah. a lot of fans thought it was thought it was good. The referee signal washout. So it was actually through Cam here that I kind of got the record straight yesterday. Well, then why am I talking to you, Cam? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what happened. <laughs> uh, you know, just going off what uh, Soper said to me. He thought he uh, hit more of the inside post. It didn't cross the line, and you know you could tell from his reaction, and you know he didn't celebrate right away. So obviously the guy that shot the puck and that was closest to the net probably knows best, right? Yeah, that's that's very valid. Yeah. That's very valid. Yeah. Um, if I know Jimmy Soper at all, he if it would have crossed the goal line, he would have at the very least gone and talked to the ref about it, and yeah, probably would have started celebrating like crazy. Yeah, um, but- so. I, th- I think that pretty much uh, <laughs> confirms it. But your uh, your press release on Saturday called it a nail biter, and it was. Yeah, it really was. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, a lot of momentum swings back and forth mm-hmm. uh, in the third period. That uh, yeah, kind of uh, kind of put that put yeah. that final four three up, and and that non goal um, is what was certainly the biggest shift in momentum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Fayetteville's favor, mm-hmm. they scored. It was three goals in a minute and thirty seven seconds. Wow! Um, in the second period, there that was right in the middle of the game, and. I think we had a we had a one nothing lead before that happened, um, and then sort of just we we came back and early in the third period I think it was in the first or second minute um, Caesar scored on the power play and made it four uh, three and it was close and kind of when that goal went in everyone was you know really fired up the yeah. place was all you know going crazy yeah. because we still had a lot of time left only down by a goal and um, they just really hunkered down in the third period and we yeah. couldn't get another one. Well, let me ask this because I know that uh, one of the things that, that, that Coach Michael was, was wanting to focus on were power plays and penalty kills. Um, where did the mayhem stand with that? Because I know that was a problem early on in the season, but it's getting, it's getting much better. We're taking advantage of the power plays much more. Definitely. Yeah, the power play is red hot. Um, we scored two power play goals in the third period okay. in Evansville on Friday night right. and then two more uh, Saturday. Um, and actually, all three of our goals – didn't come on the five on five. One of them was on a four on four. Mm. So uh, that's not special teams technically, but really any situation in which we've been in power play, shorthanded, four on four, it's let's just look better across the board, I think. So that's definitely been an improvement. And penalty kill was six for six on mm. Saturday night. Mm. So we've been going to the box a little bit too much, I think. But when we do or when we have, we've killed it off really well. All right. So let's talk about Friday and Saturday night. We have a, a, a puck drop at 7 30 on Friday, six o'clock on Saturday. These are two big games, not just from the team's perspective, but from uh, from fan perspective as well. Always a couple of biggest nights of the year. Friday the 13th, Grinch night. Yeah. I have it on good authority the Grinch will make an appearance. <laughs> that one we're looking forward to. Hope those tights to. fit. Yeah. <laughs> the, mm. the, the theme night for that game has changed three times now. Well, this is the third one. It yeah. was originally it was Krampus. or fr- okay. First it was Friday the 13th, then Krampus, now Grinch. Yeah, so um, I think people associate the Grinch a little more than Krampus. They have a point of reference for that, so it probably yeah. made made sense. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Now Saturday night um, is the teddy bear toss, and this is not just teddy bears, but any plush uh, after the first mayhem goal. Throw those plush onto the ice. How long does it take to clean those up? Well, last year they did a really good job. Um, less than five minutes. Wow, wow. They, were, they were all off the ice, and there were twenty five hundred. Um, 
stuffed Good. animals thrown on the yeah, ice last yep, year. Yep. We passed what we had done in two previous years combined last year. Wow. So we're hoping to beat that again this year. And uh, jersey auction Saturday night. Yes, sir. Um, the jerseys have not been revealed, but it has been revealed. They're a Peanuts theme. That's right. We're mm-hmm. going to reveal them, uh, I think, early this week here. Um, and, yeah, uh, from whatever everything that uh, I've been told from our staff, I haven't actually seen them yet, but everyone said that they look great. Awesome. Forward to seeing well, that's them. enough out of you, Alex. <laughs> Caleb, how are you, buddy? Not bad. How are you doing? Good. Uh, now, I have a follow-up question from last spring yep. when you were on the show. Yep. Um, you were a little f- afraid of this question, but simple. You had just adopted a dog. Did you adopt the dog? Yeah, we, I adopted him back in November last okay. year. Yeah, mm-hmm. a little puppy. Yeah. How's uh, the dog doing? He's doing great. His Good. name's Stanley, a Good. little uh, Hungarian farm dog, Aww. about 30 pounds. Loves the outdoors. Um, you know, he's great. Uh, got to take him home to Canada this summer, and he loved it. Nice. Loved it up there. So, <laughs> But he's pumped to be back home. Good. You know, this is his home. I yeah. just had to bring him home, right? <laughs> there you so go. He missed the extreme heat and the extreme yeah, cold. Yeah, yes. just, you know. He, yeah. he, he only comes for the nice temperatures. <laughs> <laughs> That's like he's a senior citizen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. God, he's got a condo in Florida <laughs> he'll be staying in later. Exactly. <laughs> so um, refresh our, uh, our uh, listeners um, who may not know about you where are you from where did you start playing hockey yeah i'm from a little town about three hours north of toronto it's called sundridge ontario um you know just uh we call it the sticks uh, okay you okay know, lots of lakes forest I'm, I'm right across the street from a lake we're actually in the guinness book of world records largest freshwater lake without an island in the world mm. wow yeah wow. um <laughs> you know i started playing hockey when i was four years old obviously in that little town moved kind of closer to toronto and then you know, picked things up as I went on and went to Rochester for college and then made my way, you know, overseas and then to the States eventually in Macon. This is now my third season here, so I absolutely love it. It's like a second home to me now. Good. Awesome. Is this your first season with the Trailer Park Mustache? Because that's uh, new. That's new. Well, in November, we do a, we do what's called Movember. Movember, okay. Uh, but... Uh, you know, I've got, been getting a lot of compliments on it, so Did I'm leaving about keeping it. Leave it alone. Oh, leaving it till after. I'm in trailer Christmas. park stash in the best way possible. All right, the best right kind. On. Yeah, I just no, got to no. die. I just got to diet a little darker now. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Mm, welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah. I can't. There's a point at which uh, Caleb, you you just have to let it go, and you you can no longer use just for men as an option. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I know, just just was, can't can't brush it in after a certain that point. Was about seven years ago, I think. For yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> About the time I met my wife. Ah, <laughs> Lovely times there. She loves the gray. So uh, Friday and Saturday night, uh, like I said, two big games. Yeah. And uh, Saturday night, the teddy bear toss, always a big one. What's the yeah, record that they, we're trying to beat this year? 2,519. All, right. All the teddy bears that get thrown under the ice get donated to local children's hospitals. So it's for a great cause. And the players themselves are going to be hand-delivering them to some lucky kids. Beautiful. Very cool. So we want 3,000 this year. We want 3,000. Yeah. And dare we, dare we say... Let's have some new plush. Yeah, some different types of stuff. You yeah. Know? You know, you got thing one, thing two. Get some, uh, you know, some. Uh, so there got to be some Mandalorian plushes around here somewhere. Uh, mm, or, baby or Yoda plush. Maybe a Baby Yoda plush if you can find it. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. Ashley's going to be selecting her uh, her plush to throw on the ice. Okay, good. This week. So. <laughs> good. good. We'll be shopping for that. Caleb, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks Alex? For me. He makes us play it twice. Yeah, so, way, yeah, so coming in and going out. Yeah, here we go again. From Alex Von Coito, The Voice. I was on Coito the voice. I was actually looking forward to it this morning, so I'm very happy. Voice, 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 vo